My son Nathaniel, he is a living testament to the strength of the human spirit and power of love. His journey into this world was nothing short of a miracle, a miracle that has profoundly changed our lives and touched the hearts of everyone who has the privilege of meeting him. You see, when Nathaniel was born, there was no heartbeat, no breath, just an eerie silence that hung heavily in the room for seven agonizing minutes. We waited, our hearts filled with fear and hope. And then against all odds, he took that first precious breath. It was a moment that defied the predictions of every doctor who had urged us to consider abortion. They said he would be a vegetable with a massive hole in his brain, deaf and blind, and in need of numerous major heart surgeries. They said he would suffer and his life would be filled with nothing but sadness. But we refused to give in to despair. We fought for him, clung to hope, and spent days upon days living in the hospital while our other four children waited for us at home and a wife that became pregnant soon after because of our belief that all life is precious. Watching our son go through 16 major surgeries in two years was an unimaginable ordeal, one that tested the strength in ways we never thought possible, but we persisted because he kept fighting to live. Our journey was filled with graces from the Lord a profound sense of peace despite the chaos and uncertainty. We knew that one day could be Nathaniel's last, but we had faith that when the time came, the Lord would take him to heaven. This faith, this unwavering belief in the sanctity of life is what we've passed on to our other children, a lesson that will shape their lives. Nathaniel's existence is a testament to the power of hope and love. He defied the odds, and today, He's a source of inspiration to all who meet him. Does he look sad to you? What defines happiness after all? Is it the ability to see, to hear, to think in the ways society deems appropriate? Or is it the capacity to feel and give love? I firmly believe that happiness is rooted in love. And my son not only feels love, he is love. Everyone who encounters Nathaniel is impacted by his presence, by the peace that emanates from his being. He's never complaining and he's content with his life. A reminder that happiness is not determined by physical abilities or social norms. It's defined by the love we share, the joy we find in each other's company. So we'll keep fighting for this life because in the end, it's love that brings happiness. And my son has shown us that love transcends all boundaries. His very existence give hope to the world, a message that those doctors who doubted him and told us he would lead a sad life. Nathaniel is a living, breathing testament to the power of love and the indomitable strength of the human spirit.